What's good, friends and family? It's the flip flop early morning Sunday. Ah, nice little walk to the office, you know. So this is Sue updates. I don't know what number this is. I'll check it out in a minute. But uh, a couple of things I want to go over. So the streets been nice, you know what I'm saying? Town been cool. Everything's been cool and, and you know normal, normal stuff. People keep saying, "Hey man, is the town moving?" Keep telling everybody every year, same thing, different story. Nothing's happening. But, you know, I'm going to get into the child support in this video uh, in a minute. Uh, I'm not going to make a whole video about the child support because it's not really that big a deal. It's something small. You know, talk about it real quick. But first, you know, so what's been going on with Flip? Well, I have my grandson the first day of the, of the year, January 1st. He was born. Gregory number six. And then um, Gregory seven, as you guys know, born March 4th. That's actually his name, Gregory seven. Uh, since he is number seven, you know, what else? You know, I've been doing a lot of things, man. Just working on me. I'm about to get my, my, my back in shape, get myself together. Um, you know, I kind of fell back from doing other activities for a while because I got to handle my brand, make sure my brand is correct. Um, what else? So, someone was asking me about my situation. And, you know, living with two women. So I'm going to break the story down to you guys right now as I walk into the office. I tell people it's not, it's not what everybody thinks it is. You know, it's not what it may seem on the outside. It may seem, oh, man, he lives with two women. This is a beautiful thing. It ain't really that easy. So let's break it down. So there's Slim. Obviously, she's Slim flocking. And then there's Shorty. Obviously, she's short. So Slim was around for a couple years now. I mean, Slim was there through thick and thin, like held me down. My, basically, my ride had died for a long time. Um, so Slim was always there, you know, but Slim knows me. Slim knows I'm, I, I'd be honest with everybody, I'm not built just to be with one woman. I like variety, and Slim understood that. So long story short, me and Slim, we rocking out, and uh, I meet Shorty. Me and Shorty getting closer and closer, you know what I'm saying? Now, Shorty at the time, I believe she had a boyfriend. Somebody sent her money, something like that. And I'm like, cool, well, I got someone in my life, too. So it, it kind of works out, benefits us both. Uh, me and Shorty get really close. And it just so happened that Shorty lives around the corner from where I live. Like, literally a three-minute walk. So after a while, Shorty and Slim start talking. They both know about each other. And uh, they call each other, make sure I'm okay, you know. come home tonight to see what you blah 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 you know they stay in touch and they talk so one day I go listen why don't we just all live together because I mean I'm going back and forth you know walking back to your crib that crib my crib I mean it's kind of stupid so she goes uh nah but then she calls Slim and Slim is like well it's better we got him in the crib and we could watch him than we uh you know he's out there running the streets so Shorty was like, eh, I guess you're right. So long story short, we moved in. Had a small apartment at the time. Um, and things just worked out, you know. Uh, it was cool at first. You know, we had to get a bigger spot, obviously. The, 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 the small apartment wasn't big enough for three people. I'm going to pull over here because there's a lot of noise on the main highway. So, you know, we went and got a bigger apartment. Everything was cool. But there was always a lot of animosity with Slim because, um, you know, Slim's dark, darker skin and she feels my type is light skin. Shorty's light skin. I, I don't know. So she was always had animosity towards Shorty because she's like, well, I'm not going to lose you to this girl. Um, long story short, it basically went down like this. They both love me. I care about both of them. You know, um... But there was always animosity. So after a while, Shorty kind of wanted Slim to leave. And Slim was like, well, listen, man, I, I was here first. And, you know, they never actually beef with each other. They, be they both came at me. And I, I, like, I try to keep being medium. I'd rather them both be mad at me than, than, than fight, you know? That's how I am. I can deal with drama a little bit differently. I don't, I don't get emotional when it comes to drama. So uh, Shorty's trying to get Slim out. And Slim's like, listen, I was here first. You came into the situation. 
you kind of she kind of got to understand that. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. She's right. So Slim leaves. No, first they both leave. Then they both come back. Then Slim's like, I had enough. I'm going to get my own spot. I think you love her more than you love me. It's time for me to move on. She goes, gets her spot, you know. And she's, I'm still saying that, but I'm telling her, if you want to go move on, you can. You know, it's the type of person I have. Life is by choices. Your happiness is more important than how someone feels. So after a while, I start feeling funny. Now, Shorty's pregnant now, and I feel funny. Like, well, wait a minute. Slim was right. She was here. She actually let Shorty in our life, and Shorty pushed her out. That's kind of weird to me, so it messed me up. Um... So Shorty had the baby. Slim's going through it. And I told Slim, you know, you can move on if you want. Being a, you know, being a man, I'm like, you can move on. I don't want to hold you back. And I don't want to ever be the, the cause of someone's unhappiness. So Slim's like, nah, I'm not leaving. I love you, blah, blah, So Shorty's still, you know, still jealous about Slim. Slim's still jealous about Shorty. It's a, it's a never-ending back and forth. Um, currently, Shorty's visiting her mom's in Santo Domingo. Who knows how long that's going to be? I don't know. I'm one of them people don't really argue so when when beef starts I kind of just wave it off my shoulder you know so that's the story of, of my household um, I guess three's company but it's not all cracked like we have our good moments we hang out drink talk shit party you know what I'm saying but then you have the other moments where it's drama and I gotta kind of be like a, a mediator to, to make to make everything cool you know so that's them things and the one thing I, I love about both of them is they understand me you know, I'm honest with everybody. I'm not going to be a one woman. I'm, I'm just not a one woman man. I haven't, I haven't felt that way in a long time. And they know I'm going to be me. You know, um, so with that situation, we'll see where it leads. I'll keep you guys updated, man. You know, I'm real with mine. I'll keep my get updated. Right now, I have the house empty to myself, and I'm loving it. So now, child support, uh, the child support situation. So Gregory number five, his mother swears that I'm rich. She swears by it. So she was, uh, I was taking care of her for a while, paying her rent. Then one day I popped up to see my son and I saw some dude was living, but I didn't see the dude, but I saw clothes and stuff. So I said, you know what? If a man's living here, he could pay the rent. I'm not paying the rent. I'm done with that. My son's uh, over one years old. Time for you to pay your rent again. She didn't like that. So it went on that um, she decided to take me to court, try to get a whole bunch of money out of me. Uh, went to court. It was like $100, something like that. Then they try to settle on 120. And um, I said, okay, 125, 20, whatever it is, 6,000 pesos a month, cool. So that's on paper, actually on paper. That was an agreement made by her and I. Um, could they have gotten more? Possibly. I personally didn't go to the, uh, to, the, to the court. Here you can send somebody on your behalf. I wasn't available, so I sent somebody on my behalf. And that's the, that's the deal they negotiated. Now, had I went, would I have paid more? I believe so. But I'm content with that. And my son is good. You know what I'm saying? She lives in the countryside. My son is all right. Now, when I put Gregory 5, when Gregory 5 was on paperwork, I decided to do Gregory 4. Even though his mother's old and mature, we have, we have no issues. Excuse me. Um, I decided to put her on a, on a monthly plan as well. She only called me when she needed something. But I said, you know what? How about I just, since I'm already giving one kid monthly, no problem, no a set, a set amount, I'll give you a set amount monthly. And she was like, cool, well, you can give me, she said, you can give me 4,000 pesos a month, I'll be good, because my son's in school. I said, no, nah, I'm going to give you the same thing, 6,000 a month, you know, no issues, every 15th and 30th. And she was cool with that. So that's basically the child support. I mean, it can be more. I know there are certain states in America, especially Jersey, that have deals with the uh, Dominican Republic, and they can actually garnish your wage with American uh, child support and send it down here. I don't know all the states. You got to look that up yourself. There are a few states that have deals with Dominican Republic for child support. So it won't always be 6000 But um, me, that's the deal we worked out, and that's what it is. You know, most of the time you can work out a deal because they're just happy to get some money. You know, because the reality is if it was a local, he may not be able to pay 6000 a month. You know, some of them I heard some people pay like 500 pesos a week or something like that. You know, it is what it is. So that's the story. I'm sticking to it. By the way, Every Sunday, since there's no football, I do what I call Miami Sundays. Uh, we go to Miami Bar in the Malacone and Puerto Plata, have a ball, man. We go out there and just party. I mean, bottles of Grey Goose at $50. You can't beat that. Uh, the local vibe, you know, Sunday's party day, so the Malacones fired up. 
Um, so far, I've been bringing guys out there. Everybody's had a good time. If you want to join in Miami Sundays, and by the way, it may turn to Campo Sundays, you know, because we might pop up to the Campo. Who knows? Um, 4.30 at Flip Flop. We roll out at 5. And then, um, you know, just go have a good time. Uh, so, like I said, Miami Sundays, if you're down during football season, you won't be able to do it as much. And by the way, I'm planning my birthday party. Everybody wants to know, hey, let us know early about the birthday party. I'm going to make that announcement. Hopefully, in the next week, I'm locking down the villa now. Uh, it's going to be a nice birthday. As If you missed my last birthday, you will have the opportunity, the time, to get to the next birthday. All right, so you guys enjoy, man. I appreciate all the support. Like I said, come on through. I have some clips of Miami Sundays at the end of this video. All right, appreciate the support, you guys. Mr. Flip Flop, I'm out. What's up, my dog? Happy birthday to my nigga Nate, though. Holla at him. I see us. We in the Melacon. Holla at your boys. Melacon it. It's popping, baby. Shit. I call my thing the marathon because yeah. I, I'm not going to lie and, and, and portray um, this ultimate poise, like I've been, had it figured out. Nah, I just didn't quit. That's the only distinguishing quality from me and probably whoever else going through this or mm -hmm. went through this or is going to go through this is that I ain't quit. I went through every emotion. I went through mm -hmm. every emotion with trying to pursue what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I think that what what going to separate whoever's going to try to go for something is that you ain't going to quit. Unless, you know, you're going to really take the stance if I'm going to die behind what I'm, what I'm getting at right now.